fasting is the willful abstaining from natural pleasures for a spiritual purpose. Write that down. That's what fasting is. Very important to write that down. Fasting is the willful abstaining from natural pleasures for a spiritual purpose. Emphasis on willful. Willful means no one is forcing you. You made a decision. And notice the statement is very broad. Any natural pleasure. You could fast candies or ice cream or guava duff. Oh, Jesus, please. Help us, Lord. Whatever is your pleasure, you can fast that before God. You can fast sex. What a pleasure. God says, I want you to fast that. Because that can become a, a prison. What can be a greater pleasure? Than eating food. Oh, food is so nice. It's a pleasure. Fasting is abstaining from that pleasure. That's why we call it sackcloth and ashes. It's like, it's like beating your body. You know, sackcloth and ashes is sometime in movies, you see them in these religious movies, you see the, the priest would tear their clothes. You ever seen that? Uh, sackcloth and ashes is when you rend your clothes before God because of passion. Which means you tear away what is pleasure to you. Fasting is abstaining from pleasures. For what reason? Spiritual purpose. This is important. Fasting is not just missing a meal. It is for a spiritual purpose. We're not just going out food for three weeks so you can lose weight. Losing weight is a byproduct of obedience to God. Fasting is when you set your face toward God. God says, you seek me. We're not here just to stop eating. We're here to find God. When you go home, you turn your TV off. Why? You're on a fast. You don't sit around gossip and conversations on a fast. You don't sit around the table talking about people. You got to fast. That's why fasting many times demands you go into hiding. People went, you know, Elijah went to the hills to fast. Moses went to the mountain to fast. Jesus went to the desert to fast. Why? Because when you hang around people, they mess up your fast. On a fast, you stay away from people who have no positive impact on your life. You got to protect your environment on a fast. That's why many times on a fast, you got to go by yourself with your Bible every lunchtime and hide on the beach and read. You don't want to be around talking no junk. Why? You're trying to clean your spirit out. And there are people who will dump garbage in your spirit. You got to protect it. Abstaining. Number two, fasting is a personal commitment to renounce the natural in order to invoke the spiritual. Personal commitment to what? I can't hear you. To renounce the natural. In other words, I renounce the control of my stomach on my mind over my spirit. I renounce it today. That's consecration. Consecration is close to concentration, isn't it? It's from the same root word. To consecrate means to set yourself before God. You abstain because you have a spiritual desire. I want God and nothing else. So you stop seeking other things. Thirdly, fasting is the dedication to a period of time to devote yourself to spiritual priority of prayer without what? Food. Fasting is not missing a meal. Fasting is not dieting. Fasting demands replacing reading of the word and prayer with your meals. When you want to fast, it doesn't mean you just stop eating and then you can do anything else. Fasting means you replace your meals with the word of God. 
Christ says, man shall not live by bread alone, but by the word of God. Fasting is for a spiritual purpose. You want to feed your spirit. The word of God is spiritual food. So you can't just fast and watch TV. Fasting means you got to replace your normal activities with spiritual pursuits. This is fasting is for. Yep. Next one, number four. Fasting demands dedicating time for meditation. On this fast, you need to spend time. How about 2.4 hours every day? 10% of your day. Spending time quiet with God, having devotions with God. That means getting a devotional book that we have in the bookstore is a good way to start. And every day you read a devotion and spend time with God. God will deal with you if you deal with God. Sometimes God didn't get time to talk to us because we don't stay place, one place long enough. Lord Jesus, bless me in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God said, wait, 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 wait. Come back here. Wait. You didn't, you didn't hear. I, I, I had time to answer you yet. We go to work. God says, what are you doing? Meditation is important in fasting. All right. And number five, fasting requires spending much time in the word. This is where you read chunks of the word of God. You get in your spirit. I, I'm telling you, fasting is, what I love about fasting, it saves time. Your time becomes so disciplined. You'll be amazed. Fasting chops out all the garbage out of your life in time wasters. I get more work done on a fast than I do all year. Because you get time to think for the first time without distraction. You get time to plan. God gets time to give you instructions to save you time. God gives you answers to questions quickly on a fast. Fasting makes your brain sharp. It makes your memory so sharp you remember things you forgot. <laughs> Fasting is so awesome that, that when you read things, you retain them. Fasting is incredible. Fasting gives you songs in the night. You wake up singing. Fasting drives people out of your life who ain't supposed to be there. They'll just leave. You don't know why they left. Praise the Lord, they're gone. Fasting will clean out your life. Fasting is powerful. It's powerful.